when I do something, I give it 100%. And in light of my decision not to run again, I've also made the decision to step away as a cabinet minister. I know we have a strong team led by a strong prime minister to lead us out of the COVID-19 pandemic. And as you know, family is the most important thing in my life. Over the last 17 years, my family has sacrificed so much, important celebrations and milestones, so that I could have the privilege to serve my community and my country. And this last year has been particularly hard on many families. It has given us all time to reflect on what matters most to us. My daughters, who are in grade five and grade eight, have needed me more in the last year, and I've needed them too. It's time for me to put my family first, and I couldn't be happier about it. Après six élections, after six elections, I decided that the campaign of 2019 would be my last. Like many of you know, when I do something, I give myself to 100%. So because of my decision of not to represent myself again, I also decided to leave my post as minister. I know that we've got a solid team lead, led by the prime minister with no equal to help us out of the pandemic of COVID-19. My family is the most important in my life. It's time for me to make my family go first. I'm very grateful for the trust my community has shown me. I also want to thank Prime Minister Trudeau for giving me the opportunity to serve Canadians for five years as the Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry. It truly has been a remarkable journey. And I want to say thank you. I want to thank Canadians, and particularly, it's been an honour to serve you, whether it was investing in Canadians' innovation, building their skills, or executing the Made in Canada project, which helped Canadians make personal, protective equipment here at home. For me, it's always been about generating opportunities, investing in people, and creating jobs. I've lived the Canadian dream. I'm the son of a cabinet maker who had the opportunity to serve as a cabinet minister. But it's time for me to focus on the most important job I have in life, being a dad. Thank you all so very much. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Minister Baines. We will go now to uh, questions from the phone. Thank you. Please press star one if you have a question. And n'hésitez pas à appuyer sur étoile un pour toute question. There will be a brief pause while the participants register for questions. Il y aura un court délai vous permettant de vous enregistrer dans la ligne pour les questions. La première question, the first question is from Mary Kay Walsh, the Globe and Mail. Please go ahead. Your line is open. Votre ligne est ouverte. Hi, Ministers. Thank you so much for taking our questions. Mr. Baines, I'm wondering if you can shed a bit more light on sort of what precipitated this now. What was the timing? Did, did the Prime Minister or sort of the campaign team ask all ministers to say whether they would be running in the next election? Well, thank you for that question. Uh, I'd like to highlight that it's been 17 years I've been in politics, uh, six election campaigns, uh, and my family sacrificed a lot. And so for me, it was just tough conversations over the holidays with my girls. I have a daughter, as I mentioned, in grade eight and grade five. And my elder daughter uh, said something to me that struck a chord with me uh, and resonated with me. She said, Dad, if you run again and uh, you win again, uh, by the time you're done with politics, I'll be off to university. Uh, and I came to the realization with my wife that uh, I've got this small window of opportunity to spend time with my girls. Um, and they've sacrificed so much for me. And so that's what uh, led me to make this decision. And I communicate this to the prime minister in the new year. Um, and he was very gracious, uh, very thoughtful. Uh, and he understood where I was coming from. And he understood the importance of family and, and the toll that political life takes uh, on uh, on families, not just for me, but for all elected officials. Uh, 